In today's video, I want to explore the possibility that the bottom of the bearish market that we have been in since November of 2021 may be coming to an end and that that bottom may actually happen in the next few weeks or maybe in already. So in this video, I'm going to share with you various charts, insights and outlooks on those possibilities and then you can make up your own mind to actually be prepared for this if that scenario falls out the way it does. So there's always people who are trying to pick bottoms and those who pick bottoms have smelly fingers. But basically, I think there's a good chance that this may actually play out in this way. So let's dive into the charts. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe down below, click that notification bell so you do get my future updates. And if you want me to send you an email every time I do publish a video or have an important upload, you can get on my email list. It's the first link in the description down below. Click that, enter your name and email, you'll get on the list. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join our free public Telegram. The links are in the description down below. So before we start, just some context that, you know, there's all these social media influencers who are always trying to pick tops and pick bottoms. And generally, it's a, it's a very, very difficult, if not impossible thing to do. But so far on the channel, and you can go back in my videos and check it out. I even made a little playlist here at the bottom where it says best predictions. And um, I've made a few accurate calls over the years of tops and bottoms near enough. So for example, back in 2019, I made this video about why buying just one Bitcoin was a good idea. And that was when Bitcoin was trading at $5,500. Even in today's bear market prices, you would still be up uh, almost 6x from that if you just bought one Bitcoin. Then um, at the beginning of the bull market before 2020, I said why it is different this time when we're struggling with that 10,000 mark. And that was indeed the start of the bull run. Then last year, just before the crash in May, I put out this video where I said a warning that it could be a double top cycle and a Bitcoin crash in May. You can go and check that out later too. And then towards the end of the year, um, in December last year, I put out this video saying that if we go below the 50 week moving average, we are likely going to go into a bear market. And then I've also shared targets of the 200 week moving average being the potential target if we break the 50 and that's around $22,000, we have gotten pretty close. So while I'm definitely not right all the time, I can't guarantee the future or anything like that, I have made some good calls and I do think that what I'm about to share with you in this video could potentially play out in that way. So with that in mind, let's move on. So I made a video about this specific chart um, not too long ago, about a week ago, I will link to it up here in the description below about why I think the bottom could potentially come in the next three to four weeks in Bitcoin. And the reason was on the three day chart, we basically we had this death cross with the 50 and the 200 week moving average and pretty much every past bear market. So in 2018 and 2015, it predicted the bottom of the bear market within three to four weeks. When that cross happened, we dropped further three to four weeks later, had the ultimate bottom and then started a sideways period and a new run up. Okay, so twice this has happened twice it predicted the end of the bear markets. And we have recently had that death cross once again. So you never know, it's not a guaranteed thing. But I do think there are various reasons in combination with all the other charts I'm about to show you that this actually may end up playing out. And if it does, then it's good to know and good to be prepared for it. Because I do still see a lot of people thinking we're going to go into an extended bear market like 2018, that we're going to continue and that the ultimate bottom is only going to come at the end of this year, or maybe even sometime next year. Now, while that may still be a possibility, what if just like a lot of the time is when most people believe something in these markets, that the market doesn't do that, and it changes, right? So what if we actually get a capitulation an ultimate low right now within the next few weeks, and then lots of people are still thinking the bottom is going to come much later, but it doesn't. And it just goes sideways and starts going up from next month onwards. And that is why I'm sharing this with you so that if that scenario does play out, that you can be prepared for it and maybe help you position yourself better for these markets and what lies ahead. So if you haven't watched that video yet, go and watch it again. Uh, I'll link to it in the description down below. But basically the target for this pattern, if it repeats again, would mean we're approximately looking at $20,000 or low 20,000s for Bitcoin within uh, the next two to three weeks at this point, somewhere between 7 and 15 June, based on how it happened the last times, which means that we would get some sort of major sell off or capitulation within the next two to three weeks if this plays out. Now, let me walk you through a few more charts that are showing 
how Bitcoin is actually coming close to very historic oversold and really good buying opportunities. Now, again, this does not mean that it's a guaranteed thing. It does not mean that the ultimate low is in. Like I said, we're trading just over 30,000. We could still drop to 20,000 or maybe even a little bit below that for a very short period of time. But looking at the bigger picture, looking at the previous data and all sorts of different models, it is suggesting that Bitcoin is pretty close to a bottom. You can see over here, this is the two year moving average chart. And you can see every time it dips below the green band, that is when historically, if you would have purchased there and just held on for one or two or three years, you would have realized enormous gains, right? If you bought here, look at that. Even if you bought here, yes, it spent several months below here. This was after the 2018 capitulation, but it pretty much went sideways. And anytime purchasing here, if you would have held, look at that run up. Same thing here, you would have held little run up here, but ultimately massive run up. So if you were bought under the green band over here, and that is where we are now, we have just entered below it, right? So historically, over the last 10 years, this has always proven to be a good opportunity. Maybe not the exact dollar low, like I said, whether it goes to 20,000 or 18,000 on a wick or something like that, but starting to get to an area here where it's very, very interesting. Then we have this, it is called the Keltner band. And again, it's something similar as what I just showed you, just another way of looking at it. But this one, this is a monthly chart, so each candle here is a month. You can see there's a couple weeks below it, intra-month. So that's what I'm talking about. You could get that spike where it goes down to 20K or slightly below 20K and then pulls back up again as a final capitulation. But basically, you can see 2015, it's always been the bottom. 2018, it's been the bottom. Even the March 2020 sell-off, that was a big wick down but it retraced and pulled back up and we are very close to that. So yes, we could spike down a little bit below it, like I'm saying, but overall, again, it is pointing towards us being very close historically to a very good buying opportunity and potentially the bottom for this bear market. This is another interesting analysis by Dave the Wave on Twitter, and he's got this logarithmic band over here and lots of FIB levels, retracement and extension levels and basically his theory is that after the all time high, it pulls back, you can see to the 0 0.382, it moves up to a all time high peak and pulls back and then it catches the bottom. And we are very close to that 0 0.382. So he's suggesting potentially what if that pattern repeats again and creates that bottom and then we start the sideways to new leg up um, somewhere pretty shortly. Then we have the Mayer multiple. You can see that is at 0 0.66 according to this chart. It's also just another way at looking at overbought and oversold conditions and looking back in history. Again, when the, the uh, indicator drops low into the Mayer multiple, that is the ultimate best buying opportunity for Bitcoin. You can see it happened over here um, back in 2015. It happened in 2018. It happened in 2020 in the sell-offs. And again, we are at that point. It happened last year in, um, in the May to July sell-off, which was also a really good buying opportunity, right? When it dropped to 28K, it had a big run up. And now we are sitting there again. So we don't know the exact dollar, whether it's going to be 30K, 25K, 20K, 18K. But overall, looking at the bigger picture, we are probably in a very, very close area to the bottom and accumulating in this area and holding for one or two or three years. We're talking about Bitcoin here is likely going to end up being a very profitable decision. This is just a different way of looking at it again, which is a distortion, which is classified as the prices of different markets disconnecting because of the wreckage. Because of these huge volatile moves, there's price discrepancies between different exchanges um, that are quoting rates of cryptocurrencies. And you can see the distortion level over here. Um, it has been really big now. And the last time it was at a similar level, was the March 2020 sell-off, which was again the final capitulation and uh, bottom before a huge run-up before that entire bull market. This is something completely different, but also interesting, is basically the Bitcoin and SPX, the S&P 500 bear market Google search results. So this is basically the peak of the search term length of bear market was actually the bottom of the 2018 and 2020 in both crypto and equity. So when the public turns to Google and looks for the length of bear market, you can see these spikes in interest for the search volumes that ended up happening right towards the bottom of the bear market in 2018 and in 2020. 
and you can see it's been spiking as of late so that is again another basically different way of looking at it but also indicating that we could really be getting close to the bottom of this bearish trend then another thing that we have here is the bottom of the rsi and this is on the monthly chart and you can see the rsi on the one month chart is coming close to the same level as it was at the bottom of the bear market in 2015 and the bottom of the bear market in late 2018 early 2019 so we might still have a little bit to go but we are getting very very close and because this is on a monthly chart this rsi obviously moves very slowly in monthly increments and getting here means again we are probably very very close and another chart here from glassnode insight and realized losses you can basically see here when this spikes it tends to happen after capitulations or um, at the bottoms of basically our bearish trends you can see in March 2020 we had a nice spike there we had a huge spike after the capitulation which ended up being pretty close to the bottom here in May uh, May to July last year and we have just had a massive massive spike over here when we had this recent sell-off into the just below $30,000 level so putting all of that together and looking at all this data and this information Basically, it looks like we are very close towards a bottom of this bearish trend and maybe the final bottom and whether or not we are still going to get a final sell off, a final quick wick in the next two to three weeks. Personally, I actually think that is still going to happen before the final low is in, but it doesn't have to. You know, we're, we're at the point where if this ends up being a bottom in hindsight, um, all the, the data that I've just shown you actually justifies it and it could end up being a bottom. So whether it's 30 or 25 or 20,000 or 18,000 on a quick wick if this happens in the next two to three weeks and we do go significantly lower but we rebound from there it is very possible that might be the bottom of this complete bear trend that we've been in and that we start a recovery period for maybe a few months and then start a new trend up a new bull run while everyone is expecting it to continue to go sideways and lower until the end of the year maybe take another two years before a new bull market that we capitulate now, start a new leg up, and again, it catches everyone off guard. People are still trying to short, people are still waiting for lower, so they're not buying in, and it just goes higher and higher and higher, and then everyone starts to FOMO in, which pushes it higher again, and then all the retail investors only get in towards the very end, maybe when we get to new all-time highs with 70, 80, 90,000, and then it creates that final leg again of the bull run, and that's when we're going to be looking to get out. So we're looking to accumulate now, when it's low, Hopefully we get some really dirt cheap prices if we do get that capitulation wick because if Bitcoin's going to crash to 20 or 18K, we're going to see really, really, really cheap prices on altcoins temporarily. It could happen within a day, like it could drop 30, 40, 50% in a day, completely rebound and that's it and then start going sideways and higher from there. So interesting times ahead. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. What do you think is more likely? Do you think it is more likely that we get a bottom sometime in the next few weeks in June? Or do we only get a bottom towards the end of the year in the same way that we did in 2018? Would love to hear your thoughts. Please smash the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you do wanna join us and get more information about this, if you want my research, my insights, what I'm personally buying and selling, if you want to be part of our private community inside Discord, it's a real-time chat group where I'm in there every single day with over 1,500 members from around the world. You can get access to all of that when you join Intelligent Cryptocurrency. It is the second link in the description down below. Click that. You will see everything that's included. Come and learn from us. Come and hang out with us and get ready for this next bull run because it is coming at some point, whether that's now or next year. It is coming again, and the time to prepare for it is now during these bearish periods. So thanks for watching. Please smash the like button, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next video.